Good evening, Rabbi Yisai. Welcome to our Pneum Satire Shir, Parashas Kisisa, Tavshin Pei. Um, this week's Parashas, Parashas Kisisa, is very much uh, in Yana Duyema. The, um, Washing the hands and feet, saves you from death, you saw that? Oh, well, I didn't see that one. But, um, but the, this, um, Okay. So the um, so the parsha has in it, it starts off Klai Yisrael is, is on top of the world, right? They're building the Mishkan, and they're <coughs> they're being counted after Matan Taita, um, and they are literally on top of the world. They're they're they're, they're they they've just made millions, right? They've just made millions. They um, they have the Torah. They have they have they have they have they have they have nitzchias. They have a connection to Hakadosh Baruch Hu. That's the greatest connection in the world. Hakadosh Baruch Hu gives them Torah's matana. Comes along some uh, bad investment advisors. They tell them we have a hot stock for you. Symbol E G E L. Egel. Goodness, yes. guys. Uh, EG, it's the s- symbol EGEL. You invest in this, it's going to take off, you're going to be even richer. You take all the ruchnis that you have, you're going to go to a higher place. And what happens? Some you didn't invest in it, and boom. The rug gets pulled out from underneath them, and the market collapses. The, the market collapses, all the madrigas are lost. And instead of having the millions and trillions of dollars of, of, of the of the of, of the of the of the Torah <coughs> and the Kabbal Satara and all the Madragas, the left with a tremendous deficit, literally bankrupt. That was just like the the Inyana de Yoma, you know, uh, converging with the with the parsha. <coughs> that um Kalzman Kalzman Yidin, their entire investment in Shaifas in life is Tarina Vitus Hashem, you never lose. On a mail and schar, you always have schar. The market never never crashes on on the tire learning. Right? You, you're sitting and you're learning. You're doing mitzvahs. Be meis nefesh for avodas Hashem. Meis nefesh tire. That connection that nothing's going to shake it. The Torah convinces you to, to invest in things, telling you this is going to be the, the greatest. This is going to be it. Say no. You know, bad investment. No, no. I avoid all all uh, four lettered stocks. All, uh, all EGLs and any other stocks that uh, of, of of the Eight Sahara that uh, will t- totally disqualify us, totally, totally, um, and <coughs> demoralize us. The um, <coughs> the parsha starts off with the mitzvah of Machza Shekel, and there's a famous word of Machza Shekel that um, well known, and the word Venosnu. Venosnu is known as a palindrome, right? You read the word Venosnu forward and backwards, it's the same thing. And, and the message is, is that when a person gives staka, right, you think the relationship is going this way. The money is going from me to that guy. And little do you realize that Yaisi Masha Balabayas Noisin La Ani, the Ani is giving back to the Balabayas. Okay? And I had a had a had a, a marshal about this. I said years ago, just to start off the share a little lightly before we uh, before we get to a little more sidus hatayda, hopefully. Marshal um, azay. <coughs> and sometimes you hear people talking about, oh, I saw a schlepper in, sh- in shul. They say, oh, there's a schnara. Oh, they go get the door. There's a schnara. All right, people are collecting. And sometimes you feel that people like look at them like with, with disdain, as if, as if there's something wrong with them. Unsuccessful person can't make a living. Knocking from door to door, a little disheveled, doesn't smell so great per se. He's been walking around, you know, and um, he may not be the most most well mannered person because you can imagine if a person is suffering the way that such a person suffers, and people look at these people like, oh, I'm something special, right? <coughs> and this person is a garnished, and if I even give him something, he should be thankful. And, oh, you, I gave you last week, you're back again. You know, what I'm saying, what'd you give him? I gave him a quarter. <laughs> Back again for another quarter. Like, 
you know, sometimes you see in shul, a guy's coming around, he's, mom, she's schlepping around, he's barely walking, he's barely standing, he's carrying a letter, and some guy says, let me see the letter, he looks at the letter, the guy's sitting there waiting, he's re reading the letter, <laughs> he reads it very carefully, and the guy's like, come on, collapsing as he waits, you know, and the guy, okay, gives him a dollar. <laughs> it's like, you, to put him through that, you gave him a dollar, you know what I'm saying? If you're thinking whether you're going to give him $1,000 or not, you want to make sure he's worth your $1,000. You know, but the idea is, it's, it's, it's just, it can be a very natural sense that people feel that I'm Epis, and he wants something from me, you know what I'm saying? And little as th does the person realize that Vinosnu, it goes both ways. And not only that, he's giving you more than what you could possibly give him. He's giving you nitzchis. So what are you giving him? A dollar, five dollars? Rabelsky used to say, he says, to, if you give a, a yid stuck, you give him less than twenty dollars, it's a bazillion. It's like spitting in his face. How do you give a guy, oh, here's a, now sometimes you just push don't have. So, you, so the word is, an uh, onion also, also has to recognize he's being mezak you. And if all you have is a quarter, so he's, he's, he's doing you a tiger for taking a quarter, even though the quarter doesn't help him that much, right? <coughs> in our minds, we ask us, well, if he gets a quarter from every person in Klai Yisrael, he'll be rich. So I'm doing my share, you know. But at the end of the day, it's going to take him, it's gonna take him uh, 500 years to get to every person in Klai Yisrael. And even then, he's only going to have $250,000. <laughs> you know, so... It's only a million years? I picked a, a round number. Um, the... So I just uh, there was a, a like a like a muscle I thought just to bring out the point. Just I think it's a it's a, it's a nice muscle. You have imagine, right? Every door has to be deployed. Every door of Yidden has to be deployed, right? To Ailamaza. So imagine the deployment in the Ailamana Shamais, Kadesh Baruch has in front of him the class of you know, the decades of the two thousand and 2000 and 2010's decade, the, 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 that 20 year decade. You're the people that are coming to the world in, in, in these 20 years, okay? We're deploying the next battalion, 20 year force. <coughs> it's gonna be a million years being born in these 20 years. And they're getting their, they're getting their, uh, they're, getting, yeah, they're getting their, their uh, you know, their, their, their positions, you know? They're getting their, their jobs. So Hashem says, you know what? One of the most important things in in um, in Eilam Hazeh is people have to teach Tyra. We need people that can be very smart, very dedicated to the learning, very patient, right? Who volunteers to be the Tami, the Chamim, and the Rabbeim of Klai Yisrael? Right? Out of a million million people, half a million go up, right? Half, something like, for some reason, half a million not, maybe not. Okay, let's say all million. Who, who doesn't want to be a Tami Chacham, right? All the hands go up. Hashem says, Hashem says well, listen, you can't only have Tommy the Chamim, you know what I'm saying? We need to have a mix. So he picks out, of the million people, picks out 10,000 Tommy the Chamim. Okay? He says, now <coughs> we need people that we need people that give Tzedakah. Okay? We need Ashirim. Who volunteers to be the Ashirim in Aglam Hazer? Right? Because we need people to give Tzedakah. Immediately, a million hands go up, me, 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 me. Or actually, there are 100,000 already taken out, 10,000 taken out, so 990,000 hands go up. Right? Or maybe the maybe sometimes the want to be Ashim also. So a million hands go up, me, 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 me. I'll be the, I'll be the Gvir. Hashem says, you can't have everyone be the Gvir because everyone has the money. Right? You'll have no one to get stuck to. Right? So we can't have everyone be the Gvir. So Hashem says, you know what? We have the top 1%, right? <laughs> Picks out another 10,000 <coughs> to be Ashim. Now Hashem says, okay, now we need Aniyim, right? Because if there's no Aniyim, the Gvirim have no one to give money to. Who volunteers to be the Aniyim in Klai Yisrael in order to be Zoyich Mizak in Klai Yisrael with the Mitzvah Tzedakah? Silence. Not a hand goes up. No one wants to be an Ani, right? Not a hand goes up. Really hear what's going on. <laughs> Hashem says, Rabbi Isai, without tzedakah in the world, Klai Yisrael is not going to make it. We need a, a brave volunteer. We need some brave volunteers to be Daniim. Laman Kvoidi, Laman Kedusha Shemiz Barach, right? Please, we need someone to volunteer. All of a sudden, Eidol Neshama picks up its hand. Okay, I'll be the Ani. And the next one picks up. And all the Eidol Neshamas pick up their hands and they volunteer for this life of poverty. In order to be Mazaka Klai Yisrael, they said, we're going to be suffer, 
for with all the difficulties of Aeneas in order to be Mzakah Chai Yisrael Chesed. Okay? So now, there you are that Gvir in Shul and you meet the Ani who volunteered to give you an opportunity to do Chesed. You got the easy job, at least in, the, at least in this at least in this aspect, right? You, ha- you have your own, your own set of problems as a Gvir, right? With the, with the Nisanis that are that are that are uh, that are that are, that are uh, Miyuchet for people that ha- that have that have the sense of of Ashiris. <coughs> but you meet the guy, you have to look at this guy, this brave soul, this volunteer. He's the special forces, right? He's the Navy SEALs of Klal Yisrael. That they go every day. They go through these extreme conditions, through the barbed wire, through the mud. Through the through the freezing cold water, through the they run through the fire, they hang down the ropes, right? In order to use that Klai so it's stuck. That's Vinasnu, right? Vinasnu is these are the people, these are the, these are the greatest, the greatest Gibarim in Klai Yisrael. And to look at them as anything other than total love and appreciation is your loss. Right? You have an ability to truly appreciate the MS of what's going on and truly appreciate that this person is allowing me to give them to give Tzedakah. And with this we, 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 we ha- I think it visual it illustrates right, the, the message of Venosnu. It goes both ways. Not only does it go this way, it goes even stronger the other way. That's a little bit I want to say about Venosnu. Let's talk a little bit about <coughs> let's talk a little bit about a topic that's going to tie into the Egel and it's a Vart I said a number of years ago and someone in this room said it over by his brother's Shabbat Shabbat Brachas which was on I believe it's Parshish Kisisa. Um, the um, story is Isaiah. Let's start with a little perm dick, okay? By Rabbi Shorz Titian, one of the one of the biggest songs that they sing is when 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 Esther was going to Achashverosh, right? When she went to Achashverosh, right? So Esther says. Okay, that we know that Esther, when she's when she's talking over here, she's when she's talking she's really talking to Hakadosh Baruch Hu, right? There's a rem that says im matzasi chayin beinei hamelech mimal hamelech toiv, right? Lasei says she lasei lasei bakashasi, okay. This is her, this is her, the, the, the way she's talking. This is Indian that Esther wants to be nice in the, in, in, in the, to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So, what is this Indian of Matsasi Chein Bein HaMelech? What is this side? That it has to be has to find chain in the in in bein em bein em So the <coughs> I was thinking as the we say in davening chaim chain v'chesed v'rachem imalein al kol yisrael amecha. Okay, there's an Indian of chain v'chesed, right? Klai Yisrael, when we say chen, right, that we should be ma'ayra chen ta'kadosh baruch you find favor in ta'kadosh baruch Hu's eyes. And when a yid is ma'ayra chen ta'kadosh baruch Hu, when a yid acts in a way that he's ma'ayra, he makes it a s'ayrus l'mayla, and you find favor in ta'kadosh baruch Hu's eyes, this is a mafteach to be ma'ayrit chesed from ta'kadosh baruch Hu. Okay? So a yid's avayda is to be matzah chen b'ene ha'melech. And then when a yid is matzah chen b'ene ha'melech, ta'kadosh baruch Hu's mashpiyah chesed down to the to, to, to the yid and to Klai Yisrael. Okay, that's the avoid of, of the of tzaddikim. Mm-hmm. Avoid of Klai Yisrael to be matzachem bein Hashem. Al pi remez, al pi side. What does this in be matzachem? Okay, so we know <coughs> that our avoid in Eilam Hazeh is to be mevato Eilam Hazeh and to slowly go madrega lemadrega up till the kisa kavod. Our job is to go. From Aretz to Shemaim. We have to make a Chibur between Olam Hazeh, which is a Gashmi sticker place, which it seems to be void of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And we have to 
go up the steps of our understanding and our connection to Kaddish Baruch to be connected to Kaddish Baruch. So it's a, it's a walk. You go, you make steps from Ayim Hazeh up to Kaddish Baruch all the way up to the highest levels. That's how you 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 go. You traverse this this path. Okay, it's steps. What are the steps? The steps up his side is Shem Hashem Yudke Vavke. Yudke Vavke. If you picture Yudke Vavke as a ladder, the Yud is all the way on top. Okay, known as Chachma. Hey, Shaina is Bina. The Vav is known as Za. Okay, it's known as as as, as, as the, the, the 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 six Midas Hem Tzayin. Right, Chesed Vod Fast Netzach Hayim Yisaid. And the Heachwein is Malchus, which is the Zashar La Hashem Tzadikim B'Vayivay. That's the Shar where you start. Okay, so the Yid's Avayda is to make this step, go up these steps to Hakadosh Baruch. Okay, when. You go up the steps, the Cheshman is Azay. You go up step one to the hay, right? So you have a hay. You go up to the next step of the Vav, the next step is a K and a Vav, right? Because the step above, the step above is Kail of what's below it. So you go from this, so the first step is Ice Hay. Next step is K and a Vav, because we're going up backwards. The next step is K, Vav, and a K. The next step, the final step is K, Vav, K, Yud. And all of a sudden you connect it all the way up to Chachma, all the way up to Yud Chachma, Kaduma, right? Up to the Kutzer Sheyud, which is Keser. And your mom is your Oymdu Fnei HaMelech and your Motzah Chein Bein HaMelech. Okay? If you add that up, this is known as the Shem Havaya Bribua Mimata Lamaila. Bribua is when you do this format of one and you do each letter like we do Na Na Nach. Right? This is the backwards of it. Okay? <coughs> so you add it up, that equals 58, which is Chein. Okay? That's how you malachin. That is the, the, the side of your malachin. You picture in your mind that you're going up this, these madregas to malachin in front of a Kaddish Baruch. When a person has this connection to Kaddish Baruch, Hashem says, Ah, oh, you're connected. Okay, we have a connection. I'm so glad we're connected. Now that, you, now that you've plugged, it, plugged, plugged in the switch, now I can turn on the power. And he starts pouring down all the chesed. Kaddish Baruch is just waiting to pour down chesed. Hashem is. All, the whole tachas of the Ganze Velt is to be mischassed with us. Unfortunately, people are running the other way and they're not plugging in the switches. The moment you plug it in, Hashem says, Oh, you're connected? Kaddish Baruch starts pouring down chesed. Okay? What is chesed? The connection you made on the way up, Hashem's shefa comes down the same exact way. But it's starting with the yud. Okay? So it goes from yud to yud k, yud k vav, yud k vav k. Okay? You add that up. That's shame Havaya Bribua Mimalo Lamata. That's Bigmatria 72, which is Chesed. Okay? So Yid's path up is Ribua Mimata Lamaila. The Hashba, Chef of Chesed from above, is Mimala Lamata, is Chesed. Okay? That's the, the side of Bimotza Chain Bein Amalech. And the Murid, Bimotza Chain Bein Amalech. The last thing she lost, she back on Shossi, is a bit that's to be married to me, this is a Okay? <coughs> this is, I saw this in Sefer Yimei Noyam, it's actually said in last week's parsha on the, on the, on the Pasuk of Chayshin, it says, it's Ribua Yia, Zeres Arka, Zeres Rachbai, and he puts the union of Ribua, right, double Ribua, Ribua says double twice, Ribua Yia, he, he tells these two Ribuas of, right, Chayne Chesed. Okay, I and Shem, if you want to see what he what he uses it for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have it in you have it in in, in Sim Shalom. Chaim Chaim Chesed Rachem. So the um, <coughs> so the um, the okay. So now let's just free ice with some chidushim on this. The Gemara and Brachas tells us at the end of the fourth parak that if someone has to dive in two Shemayin Esrei's because let's say he has to do a Tashlumen so he could be diving two Shemayin Esrei's back to back he's not supposed to dive in straight right? he's supposed to make a hefsik and then dive in the next Tama Yishabin Tvil Tvila Dav Laman Abbeis right before the end of the parak Rafun Rab Chanina Tu Amaroyim Chana Merkadeh Shetis Chayni Daito I love you have to wait till you have this union of tishchayin, notion of chayin, right? Your das has to be ready for chayin. 
Charama Kadesha Tischailo Daito Yolov. In order, and you have to wait till your, your das gets to the point of being chal. Lashon of being, being also like clear. Okay? Mandam Kadesha Tischailo Daito Yolov. The one says Lashon of Chanina. Tichsiv es Chanan El Hashem. Tfil is called Chain. Being, being Malachain. Mandam Kadesha Tischailo Daito Yolov. Tichsiv I Chal Maisha. This week's Parsha by the Ego. By Chal Maisha. Lashon of Chal. Okay? Zot Taisus, right? Uh, so Zot Rashi, they're not arguing, right? They both hold you have to have some sort of hefsik between the two, and each one says, El they're both just using different Lashinus. Each one decided to use a different Lashin. Rashi says they're not arguing. Okay? Even though normally it says, Rafun Rab Khanina, Khad, Khad, no means Mach. Exactly, they're not arguing. What's the difference between the two? Okay? Zak Taisis, what is the shear of Tishal Dait Allah? What is the shear? Zak Taisis, in first, we shall meet the Hanu Kishayelach Arba Amis. Okay? You need to make a gap between the two Shemir essays, the time it takes to walk for Amis. Okay? Now we all know, when you're Premier Stika learner, anytime you see four, four is always Havaya. Okay? So if the shear of Tishchel Adaitai Allah, this shear is has to do with walking for Amis, there's some sort of connection over here to Shem Yud Kevavke. Okay? For Amis is always Yud Kevavke. <coughs> okay? So, what's the connection? So, Pshat says, What's Taka the Pshat? Maish Rabbein Parsh Veschanan says Veschanan al Hashem. Why Taka in Veschanan is his Lashon of Chain? And why is it in this week's parsha by the Egel, it's Vaychal Moshe, it's Benesh Amakav, why Taka? You're a Mefarish for Chumash. Forget Rashi over here, forget the Gemara, right? Rafuna and Rabchanina, maybe they're both saying the same thing. But you're learning Chumash, Hakam in Veschanan, Moshe, but it says Veschanan al Hashem. And why does it tell you, what his davening is called Veschanan? And his davening in parshas, this week's parsha in Kisi says Vaychal Moshe, Lashon Chal, what's going on? Okay? So I was thinking as follows. It's a tremendous Chiddush. And it's my ton of the Yibbani Shalom as a Chiddush. The, we know what Chain is. We, we, already, we know what Chain is. We just told you what Chain is. So Tefillah being Chain is very Pashat. Right? The reason why Meshachan al Hashem is because that's what Tefillah is. You have to go up. K, K, Vav, K, Vav, K, K, Vav, K, Yud. That's Chain. Yes, you're Chain. Masa Hashi Chain, Mein HaMelech. Right? Tinasli Yashay Lassi Vakosh Hashi. Right? So the Chain is very understood. We know the Pinim of Chain. What's the Chal? Why is in this week's parish is Vayichal? So what's the answer? The answer, Ken Zayn, is where's Moshe Rabbeinu standing now when he's diving to HaKadosh Baruch Hu? He's on Harsinai with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. He's in Shemayim. He's there. He's, Shemayim is not Oretz. Oretz, you have to start at the first step. You have to start with the hay. Right? If you're in Shemayim, Shemayim is the Vav. He doesn't have to start from the Heachroina. He starts from Vav. Vav, Vav K, Vav K, Vav, Vav K Yud. You add that up, you know what you get? 38. Chal. Okay? So Moshe Rabbeinu Bechina Shemayim, it's Vayichal. Moshe Rabbeinu came in Parsh Veschan, he wasn't Shemayim. Moshe Rabbeinu was actually diving to Kodesh Baruch Hu, just treat me like any other Yid. I don't need to go in as Moshe Rabbeinu. I go in as a Pashat Yid. He's diving as a Pashat Yid to Kodesh Baruch Hu. He's by Oretz. Moshe Rabbeinu's tefillah from Oretz has to be a chen, not a chal. Mm. Getting back to our Gemara over here. The Gemara, Ay Bazei, Ken Zayn says, Nafkamin al halacha. The Yishalmi says, it's your Arba Amis. That's like the man to Omar, Kedei Shetishchayni Daita. Kedei Daita is all four letters of Shem Havaya. So it has to be Kedei Hilach Arba Amis. Ma'ashayi Gedei Ma'adam says, Kedei Shetishchayni Daita, I love. He holds the only need Kedei Shir Gimel Amis. Because it's connected each ice, you need a shear. Or just to say, it, not to say it so mathematically, to say it as a. A person davens, right? He goes from Oretz to the Kisar covered, right? Dalif Nemiato, I made you stand in front of a Kaddish Baruch. You made a huge trip in the Shemanesre. You gotta daven again. So maybe I could just stay up there and daven again. The Kiddush says, no, you can't stay up there and daven again. You gotta start over again. Because Tfil is the trip, it's not the words. If you have to daven twice, you have to make the trip twice. So you have to take a break. You've got to come down from Shemaim and start over again. 
how far down do you have to come? Sure. One man Dharma says Kadesh is you gotta come all the way down to Aretz. Other man says you don't have to come all the way down to Aretz. It's enough that you're not standing that you're not standing miles from the AKC. Come down a couple Madragas. That's enough of that's enough of a, of, of, of a descent. You can start you, you can start your ascent from from the Vav, from the Chal. That's what that's what I want to touch up. Anyway, does Kenzain is a is, is a little a little bit of premium satira, say the satira with a little with a, a little chat and tira. He rots in taka, we should be zaycha to be malachin in front of a karish barhu. Karish barhu is avada going to do shayla senu bakasha senu, lahavi mashiach tit kenu, bimhera, biamenu. Amen.